All right, we're now ready for mistake number nine, which is including details that most of your readers don't need. Take a look at what I mean. Here's an excerpt from a security report. It talks about the analysis of some incident. Note that there are some details here that probably do not belong in this report. Let me explain to you what I think was wrong with the sample that you saw on the previous screen. Let's think about this from the reader's perspective. What your readers want are answers to their questions without distractions. And if you include content that most of your readers don't need in the body of your report, in the body of your email message, then you're distracting them. And they're less likely to have time and energy and patience for the content that is truly important for them. So here's what I would do with the example that you saw on the previous screen. There was the table there that I don't think was relevant to the point that the report was trying to make. Sometimes you can take a table like this and completely get rid of it. But we know that our reports will be read by people with different backgrounds and perhaps with different interests. So if you think some readers of your report will benefit from that level of detail, then what I suggest is moving it into the appendix. The appendix is a wonderful thing. This is where I place things that I don't have the strength to completely strike out of my content. You think it's gonna be valuable to somebody? Fine, keep it, but move it into the appendix and recognize that most people won't look there. But those who need the level of detail that you think is relevant will know where to look. And so look, once I moved content like this into the appendix, then I need to refer to that appendix from the body of my report, otherwise the reader won't even know that the appendix exists. And also, without such a reference, the reader won't know how the appendix fits into the rest of the narrative. So remember to focus your reader's attention on the details your reader needs, because that is the key to building a connection with them. That is how you will be able to relay the important ideas in the way that your readers will have the patience and time to absorb. And what that means is that you need to anticipate the questions that your readers will ask. What details do your readers need? Well, it depends on the situation. If you're talking about a security incident report, then they need uh, certain takeaways that might be different from a scenario that involves a security assessment report, for example. Understand what your readers want. Provide to them the key takeaways up front. Explain what happened or what did you discover. Clarify how you arrived at your conclusions, no matter what kind of a report you're creating. Or sometimes it's just an email message. Maybe you're talking about an incident. Maybe you're discussing uh, your perspective on security risks in the context of a security assessment. Maybe you're discussing details of a threat or malware that represents that threat. Help your readers understand how much credibility they can place into your findings by clarifying how you arrived at your conclusions. Now, to achieve this, to focus your reader's attention on the details that they need, you should use various tools that are available to you in the context of writing. That means, in many cases, paying attention to how you structure your content, the way that you group your sentences into paragraphs, where you place those paragraphs in the body of your report, how you group paragraphs into sections, the headings that you assign so that your readers can at a glance see the most important information and can navigate through your content to find the details that they need. And this is how you can speak to multiple audiences using a single report. If you include informative headings, then people who need certain information will know exactly where to hide it, to, to hide it by glancing through your headings and perhaps even looking at your table of contents if you decided to include it in your report. And remember, the details that you think might be relevant to some members of your audience, you decide to keep them, those just-in-case details belong in the appendix. Or perhaps you might want to keep them as a separate document that you can supply to those readers that request it.